Ashley Yoder. Fail that. I, I, I did not teach you to use the force. Fail that. Ashley. No. Look at you. No. <clears throat> How could you wear that green shit in your hair to look like me and fail? You are not a martial artist and you are not a Jedi. But, but, but Yoda, but Yoda, no Yoda. I am done with you. Take your punk ass to the dark side. Savage. W. MMA fan. Back with another video and, uh, I'm upset. I'm fucking upset because of the two women fights, this is the one well, I picked Ashley Yoder to win. You know, I I mean, okay, true, true enough. I I, I did pick uh, Sandra Roba to beat uh, Felice Herrick. I didn't expect that fight to end like that though. But anyway. But, you know, I was kind of hoping that, you know, Yoder would pull this fight out and shut Sosa up, you know, you know, because Sosa, you know, was kind of looking past her. And, you know, that's what I thought. And, you know, Yoder went into this fight and she looked like she didn't even want to be there. I mean, she looked like somebody who got the wrong ticket to the wrong city and got her ass kicked. I mean, round one, they both kind of went to the ground and was testing the ground game. And not much really going on there. And when he stood up, Sosa just started just teeing off on Ashley Yoder. I mean, it was just right hand after right hand after right hand. I thought she was going to go out right there and there. I mean, just right hand after right hand. I mean, she looked like a balloon that was tied down, constantly being hit and going right back to the same spot. I'm like, is she going to, like, put up a guard? Is she going to use any fucking head movement? Like, what is Yoda fucking doing? You know, it, it, it must be that green shit in her hair or something that she wore tonight. But anyway, so... She loses the first round. Clearly, Sosa gets the best in the first round. Second round comes out. They're going back and forth. You know, the fight's starting to kind of heat up. I'm like, okay. Maybe, maybe Yoder can, you know, win this round. It was close. I, I'll say it could have went either way. But there was definitely a lot of work in the clinch for Yoder. Uh, but to her credit, Sosa was basically counting her in the second round. So if you think that Sosa won the second round, I, I can't really argue with you there. So then there's a third round. So she got to come out there and do something, right? Well, what does she do? Well, she started using these uh, kicks to the body that she kind of had started off in the uh, second round and she started like really, really duplicating it and over and over working that kick and this is the part that really gets to me, that really pisses me off. I'll say right around three minutes remaining in the fight, the body kicks had finally caught up to Sosa and she had her up against the, up the, against the cage. I'm like, why isn't she going for the kill? Why isn't she going for the finish? I mean, it can't be because she's afraid of those right overhands because, I mean, she took them in the, and, and, and she took them fist in, on the chin like a champ in the first round. 
and now all of a sudden she's scared. I mean, Sosa's output was very low at that time. Like, she just would not go in for the kill. It's like she was fucking gassed. I don't know was she gassed or was she afraid or both. But she really looked like she never should have signed up for this fight. I was like, she was just there to collect a fucking check. I mean, I, I guess so. I guess that's what she was there for because uh, it was a unanimous decision. And she lost again. I mean, how many times is she going to lose these slow fights? I don't know. And, man, it, it, it's starting to look like she don't have much time left in the UFC. It it, it, it it looks like Dana might be telling her to pack her fucking bag. So, it is what it is. Ashley Yoder. Found you have.